friends, welcome back to Lean On Me, where learning is fun, memorable, and very, very easy. My name is Mecca Akilo, and today I am going to teach you place value. Let's start with a new word. Have you ever heard of the word digit? Aha! Digit. Repeat after me. Digit. Again. Digit. Now, some of you would like to call it digit, but that is okay. Digit or digit, it is entirely fine. A digit is a single number symbol. It is a single number symbol. In our counting system called base 10, we use 10 digits. And that is why you have 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and our silent friend zero. These numbers are called digits. Nine is a digit, six is a digit, seven is a digit, even zero is a digit. Imagine you have just the digits zero to nine. How do you write numbers bigger than nine? You put digits next to each other and their position tells you how big they are. Let's look at this example. The number 920, it has three digits and these are nine, two, and zero. What about the number six? How many digits does the number six have? One digit and that is six it is just a single six how many digits are in the number 508 508 is 508 how many digits are in there oh three digits and these are five zero and eight and that brings us to the main topic of today place value place value means the value a digit has depending on where it sits in a number it means the value a digit has depending on where it sits in a number why a place values important why is it really important the place of a digit tells its power it tells how powerful, how strong, how big a number is. Let us see how we can understand number places better. Imagine numbers as cars parking in special spots. Each spot has a name and gives the digits a value. The spots we use are ones, tens, hundreds and thousands and so forth but today we are going to stop at hundreds and thousands so we have ones tens hundreds and thousands the ones place means single units the tens place means groups of ten the hundreds place means groups of one hundred and the thousands place means groups of 1,000. The place of a digit tells it how powerful it is. So, let us see how these positions work, how numbers work, how the spots work, okay? For example, in the number 5555, five, five, in that number 5,000, 555 you see it's just fives but what if i tell you that each of these fives are different we call them different names altogether depending on the place where they sit now let us place each of the fives in each spot so we have five in the place of ones five in the place of tens five in the place of hundreds and five in the place of thousands do you know what that means 
it means that the five in the place of ones is just a single digit. It is just five. And then the five in the place of tens is not single. It is a group of ten. That means five groups of tens. Five times ten. And that makes fifty. We can see how it works. And now the five in the place of hundreds says it to be five. It is five hundred. And that is because it is groups of hundreds. It is in the groups of hundreds. It means five hundred. Lastly, the five in the group of thousands means five thousand because it's in the spot of thousands. Do you see how powerful place values can give digits? So instead of having five, 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 you have five thousand five hundred fifty five. So why does place value really matter? It helps us to understand how big or small a number is. It also helps us to add, subtract, and do other math easily. It also shows how numbers are made of parts, which are thousands, hundreds, ones, and tens. Now, let's look at another example. When you have the number 508, can we break this down into place values? Five zero eight where does the five sit the five sit in the place of hundreds what about that zero where does it sit it sits in the place of tens and then the eight where does it sit in the place of ones it's just a single one and that means that 508 is basically five times 100, the 100 is the place value. 0 times 10, the 10 is the place value of 0. 8 times 1, the 1 is the place value of 8. And that gives us 508. So, that's it for today's class. But just to recap on what we have learned. We have learned about digits. We have said a digit is a single number symbol. And we have said that in math, we have base 10. The numbers we count from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the silent 0 are all base 10. Place value tells us how much a digit is worth based on where it is in the number. If you found this helpful, like, share, and subscribe. I will see you in the next class where we shall now be diving into the basics of math, addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication, the big four. Bye.